queue, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 1.4 million. Just for you guys, I spent the last 72 hours trying to make this fun Blizzard spam build. And it's not even just fun, it's actually broken. I'm not even kidding, I mentioned Cold Bloodiness so many times in the past videos, and I said it will be broken without to even try it, just from the skill description itself. But I simply never got it and I had to give up after 8 hours of total attempts when I first went for it. However, yesterday I decided to spend a bit over 12 hours of non-stop farming and uh, on, a th on a 30 second mission to drop it and I finally did it. And I want to say just thank you to you guys bringing it up to my attention again because I, I will just have given up completely on it and forget about it. But I guess it wasn't... I guess it wasn't really wasted time because I have enough gold and enough brains for a while. And then of course I had to also level up Vyessa 6 times to level 40 using 2 crystallizers per day which is super annoying and repetitive but yeah, I'm completely broke now. It was worth it. Anyway, let's get straight to the build. So this build is uh, optimized all around spamming your tornado ability. Okay, so here we are, Cold Bloodness. When you activate it, you have, uh, for 20 seconds, 20% 20 uh, cooldown reduction, 20% less cost, and 5% increased uh, skill power, which is huge, 20% cost and uh, cooldown reduction, especially for the Tornado, because it's super expensive to use Tornado. And together with a skill MP conversion and Nimble Fingers, you get your Tornado up to uh 7.1 seconds now this is 15 because it's obviously not activated now if you activate it uh you will see that the cooldown is down to 7.1 now on the empty slot this is for hp i just don't have any more slots or crystallizers you must use hp it's necessary else you will die this slot you can use whatever you want and i'll tell you the options be before i go to the other skills so it was 7.1 if you use Tech, focus on tech. It gives you a 68.2% modifier and 6% uh, cooldown. It's gonna go exactly down to 6 seconds, so you can spam it every 6 seconds. The modifier, I tested it, it's basically garbage. Same for this, uh, same for the simplification skill. You can also use this. Now, for the tornado, it's garbage because it already has a super high modifier. But for the balls, it's very huge because they have a small modifier. And I don't want to say that Tornado is your main damage, even though it's, it kind of is like a, a, around 70%. With this cooldown, the balls have a, like 100% uptime almost. As you can see, 2.4 seconds, so they don't even get the chance to fly all three out, you can reproc it. So it's a good chunk of damage. So if you really want to go for maximized damage, you will use a simplification skill here. Now, if you want defense, also works. You can use Spear and Shield, which is 8% uh, skill power. It's very good. It's not bad. Skill power scales way better. So your tornado is actually gonna have more damage. Uh, well, it's kind of the same. Like modifier is 5% or 6%. This is 8%. It's kind of the same. Doesn't matter. And here you obviously want to max out crit and crit damage. Inside concentration, front lines. This. Focus and chill, the best you can use. I tried every combination out. Focus and chill is always better. And for second, simplification. But yeah, you tech and all that stuff. I don't know why they put it in the game. They don't scale as good as uh, these two. Now, skill expansion will increase in range, and it's really, really mandatory for this build. If you want to min max your damage for a higher ceiling, you will go for extension. Extension has a higher duration and if you know how Tornado works, it's basically 6 seconds and the damage interval is 2 seconds. So it's gonna take 3 times in a final explosion. If it was 6.1 seconds, it would be uh, 4 ticks in an explosion. But with duration up, we are at 8.2 seconds, so it's gonna take 5 times plus the explosion, which is huge. So it's like 5 times a million damage and once 2 million damage? Exactly. But here we come to the part. Now, is this build better than the other one? I will say no, and let me explain why. So, while this has a way higher ceiling, it's gonna be very inconsistent. The only parts where it's gonna be like... Uh, 
very usable is for speed killing or if you're fighting larger targets like uh, the final boss like the Molten Fortress where your tornado can't really miss or you can, the monster can't really go out of it but for clearing and for bosses that move a lot and have a slim body you will have to go range for sure and um, still like having your main damage on tornado I don't think how worth it it is because the hypothermia build is basically constant damage over time so you're, it's a super consistent build, super high damage and you still have a tornado burst this has a higher ceiling on burst but it's not very consistent so most of the time it's gonna underperform but the ceiling is higher this means when you perform at your best this build will do more damage than the other now for for uh, reactors by the way if you don't know how to farm reactors uh, you can just press M and few difficult rewards you can short sort by here and uh, you want to sort by tech for example for the tornado and the ammo type general round so this will be basically if you have a submachine gun where you want to farm it's really easy to drop them like this took me like 15 minutes and Colossus Colossus is the biggest boost you can have on the second one don't use cooldown cooldown is maxed out at six seconds for some reason you can go lower i assume the game has a 90 percent uh, cooldown reduction maximum uh skill critical hit damage is gonna be massive damage if you can drop it i didn't drop it because i didn't farm much for the set i recommend slayer set because skill power is incredibly huge on damage and rounds per magazine 10 percent is also like having uh like 10 percent more dps almost it's a lot it's it's a huge increase especially on a small magazine uh, gun but yeah okay now i'm gonna give you guys a little demonstration to see how fast you can spam your shields so you activate this with the the funny part is since we have duration it's actually gonna last longer oh we don't have duration let's try duration because we're in the training area duration so it's gonna last the buff is gonna last for so much longer that's why skill extension is so much better expansion is for consistency but this is so much more damage you can see Q 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 1.4 million, 1.4 million. You absolutely like can shred with just this skill alone, and the skill cost is down too. Um, if you don't want to have increased cost cost uh, from the Slayer set, you can use a Polar set. It gives like some chill damage, but it's gonna be less damage. Anyway, that was just the Q ability, and now. Um, Let's see the tornadoes, how fast we can spawn them. Of course, every six seconds. And then you can just shoot, you know. And already, you don't need to activate cold blood as again. It lasts for a lot of time. Look, three million, three million, three million. It's all three million. Now, of course, on bosses, you hit less, yeah. But uh, four million the last hit. You see how much damage that is? And you can spam it like every six seconds. It's crazy. It's such an incredible uh, DPS uh, ability. Now, about the clairvoyance guns or whatever it's called, because um, my friend tested it, 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 it sounds nice on paper, like minus 20% uh, reduction on chill. If you want to play like fun, like you should never strafe to what's the best, you should always strafe for what's fun for you. But I will say that it's unfortunately not worth damage wise, like the thunder cage completely shreds everything. Even though the 20% chill resistance, it's uh, gonna have a uh, slightly more damage the thunder cage but it's not much big of a difference so if you uh, want to play with it it's completely okay and you should use whatever is fun it's fun to to put debuffs on the bosses and you know nuke them however you like so yeah with that said i wish you all a nice day and happy gaming guys